Hi, I'm Jay Sportster, and welcome back to another video of Backyard RC. And what I'll be talking about today are basic aerodynamics. So, what I'll go over first are the sections of an airplane. First, you have your wing, which contains your ailerons sometimes. And in this case, it's a twin, so it contains your uh, motors. Then you have your fuselage. And then attached to your fuselage, you have your tail section. Now, the tail section works is uh, you have your vertical stabilizer, which gives the plane vertical tracking. So it'll track straight as an arrow, like a boat keel. Then you have your horizontal stabilizer, which gives it horizontal stability. Now what happens is uh, the control surface moves. We're using the rudder first. The air passes by, hitting this control surface, which, points, which uh, turns the fuselage to the left. Does the same thing to the right, just passes by, hits this control surface, which points the nose or points or steers the airplane over to the right. And then pretty much the same thing with the elevator, except you have its elevation. Um, the air passes over, which uh, hits against this control surface, which pivots the tail down, pointing the nose up, then down. The air passes beneath, hitting this control surface, pointing the tail up, pivoting the nose down. So that is how your tail section works. Now let's move on to the wing. Now, like I said, on the wing you have ailerons. And the way they work is you have two control surfaces, one on each side of the wingtip. And what happens is the air passes over the top, uh, hitting this control surface, pushing the side down. Then the air passes over the the bottom and then hits this control surface underneath then pushes this side of the wingtip up so that's how your ailerons work and the same thing other way except it'll just turn uh, to the uh, seat the air comes over pushes this so it'll turn to the left so that is how your ailerons work now let's look at how our wing generates lift and a few different types of airfoils now the most common airfoil um, is a flat bottom. Um, a flat bottom is a good trainer and trainer airfoil and mostly used on most of your normal airplanes. But there is another airfoil called a symmetrical airfoil, which it's a f basically two flat bottom airfoils uh, to get uh, glued together on each side. That's pretty much what it's like. And what a symmetrical airfoil does is it creates both li lift on both sides. And that's really good for uh, acrobatic airplanes and 3D airplanes and stuff like that. Then you have your undercamber uh, airfoil, which that an undercamber is pretty much just the top ridge right here. That's what an undercamber would look like, which has the mask uh, <laughs> maximum amount of lift at a really slow speed. So those are your different types of airfoils. Um, now the way your wing generates lift is the wind. Um, passes over, which uh, cr creates a low pressure pocket on top and a high pressure pocket on the bottom, which sucks the wing up into the air. So that is how your wing generates lift. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, give this video a thumbs up. And if you ha if there's anything I missed or just yeah, post in the comments below, and we'll see you in the next video.